The Straw Hats are probably the single most beloved and tight-knit group of friends in any work of fiction. That might sound like an exaggeration, but honestly is it? They've spent more than a thousand episodes and chapters together, having a number of interactions rivaled only by maybe some soap operas. Millions of people grew up watching One Piece. To a lot of us, the Straw Hats are a family. Sure, everyone has a favorite, and maybe one of them has an antic you don't particularly like, but is there a single member you could take away and not find something missing? I don't think so, and that's a testament to just how talented Oda is in constructing the cast of his main story. Naturally, anytime Luffy gets close to basically anyone outside of the Straw Hats, fans start speculating if they'll end up joining the crew sooner or later. This especially came to a head at the end of Wano, where fan favorite characters like Yamato and Carrot both could have easily joined the Straw Hats. It was pretty fun being part of the weekly discussions, trying to see who, if any, would end up being on the crew. We all know how it turned out in the end though, right? Our band of 10 so far remains a band of 10. That doesn't stop people from hoping though. My name is Hoodie Song, this is Kato, and today let's talk Talk about why we probably won't ever get another straw hat. I suppose the first place to start this discussion would be Vivi. It's been more than two decades at this point, so it'd be understandable if you don't remember, but Vivi really was the closest a person has ever come to joining the Straw Hats without actually joining them. She was there in the first major saga, and was just as instrumental in the Alabasta Kingdom as any of the other crewmates. I, like many others, was sure that the ending of the entire saga would be Vivi joining the Straw Hats. Oda played with these expectations too, literally keeping Vivi's decision under wraps until the last possible moment. It seems natural now, but it's still so strange to think that Robin was the one who joined from that saga. Vivi didn't join the Straw Hat Pirates for a somewhat simple reason. She was a princess, and she had a duty to look after the safety of her people. They had gone through hell in the last few years, and it wasn't like Vivi could just abandon them now that they were finally free. Besides, while all of Vivi's adventures might have made her a better pirate, it also gave her a strength that'd be better suited to rule. While fixing a drought-stricken country doesn't sound fun, exciting, or adventurous, it's probably just as hard as being a pirate and entering the in line itself. How could Vivi spend her entire life trying to save her country and then go off adventuring when her country needed her most? It was a hard decision, probably the hardest decision in her entire life, but in hindsight, it was both clear and obvious. It was just unfortunate timing more than anything. The Straw Hats understood this too, which is how we got that iconic scene of them all declaring their friendship with her, even if they knew she couldn't be a part of their crew. This is why Vivi is almost considered an unofficial Straw Hat in the story itself. With Vivi reappearing in the manga lately, the obvious question to ask is, have things changed? Well, if anything, Vivi's position now is even more tumultuous than it was all those years ago. At the moment, she is being directly targeted by the world government and is living in hiding. Actually, I think that's underselling it. Vivi is under the direct attention of Eam himself, which is about as dangerous a situation as you can get into in One Piece. I suspect the Straw Hats aren't quite ready to take on the world government just yet, and Vivi joining their ranks would paint a bigger target on both her back and theirs. It's just a messy situation all around, and one I don't see any way of resolving until the very end of the series. And, well, at that point, does it really matter if she joined the Straw Hats, if she missed out on pretty much the entire journey? I do at least still think it's possible that she could join, I just don't see any reason for her joining now. Let's consider another fan favorite character, Yamato. Yamato had been a massive help to the Straw Hats in Wano, and would obviously be a massive help to the Straw Hats in the future. Yamato is one of the strongest characters in the series so far, but, well, he pretty much flat out refused the offer too. We've known for a while that Yamato idolized Odin. It's one of the main quirks of the character. And, well, just like Odin, Yamato wants to start his life by first exploring Wano before setting out to sea one day. If he wants to trace Odin's path, then Yamato is going to become a pirate sooner or later. I just don't really see that happening now, considering One Piece is already entering its last saga. Besides, including Yamato would naturally disrupt the main three dynamic between Luffy, Sanji, and Zoro. They are unofficially considered the monster trio in terms of strength, and including Yamato would immediately make him the second strongest member of the crew. You might notice that even Jinbei only became a straw hat when Zoro and Sanji could compete or surpass him. They then finally, we have Carrot, the last likely member who could have joined the Straw Hats. Well, the reason she didn't join the crew is almost identical to Vivi's. Carrot was appointed the ruler of Zo, a position that meant she couldn't just leave to go explore the Grand Line. This one is... Well, let's just say it was pretty clearly a choice Oda consciously made to make sure Carrot didn't naturally join the Straw Hats. There is no real reason that Carrot specifically has to lead Zo or anything. She's not the strongest, she's not the most qualified, it all just kind of came out of nowhere. Carrot herself seems to be the only one who realizes it, which makes it all the more jarring as the reader. In both Vivi and Yamato's cases, there were very real reasons that you could have seen them not joining if you read their motivations clearly enough. Carrot specifically was where I just realized that maybe Oda doesn't want there to be another Straw Hat. Honestly, 
Honestly, before it happened, even I thought Carrot was probably the most likely 11th member of the group. I think this is one instance where One Piece just wrote itself into a corner. The fact that Carrot didn't join all but confirms that this is the main cast we're going to be sticking with into One Piece's final saga. I think the writing for this was kind of always on the wall, and we fans either just didn't see it, or liked some of the side characters too much to want to see it. With all of this hindsight in mind, you could see just how careful Oda has been in actually introducing all of the Straw Hat members. Every single member is someone we met before the time skip. At the start, as Luffy was making his crew, it didn't take long to get a new Straw Hat. Sometimes it just took a small mini arc like with Zoro. Sometimes it took a bigger arc like with Chopper or Frankie. I suppose you could argue that with Nami, it took an entire saga before she was probably one of the Straw Hats, but still, that was a pretty small time frame. The last Straw Hat, Jinbei, took quite literally hundreds and hundreds of chapters, a time skip, and an entire saga before Oda was willing to formally turn him into a Straw Hat. I suspect that if you plot out how many episodes it took to gain each member against how long One Piece itself has been running, you'd realize that Jinbei was probably going to be the last Straw Hat we ever got. If Yamato, Vivi, and Carrot did make the cut, then who else is there that's been with the crew long enough to possibly become a member? The only person I could think of off the top of my head is Trafalgar Law. And while that would be pretty interesting, I do think it's obvious that Oda is building Law to head in an entirely different direction. Given all of this, we're really just left with one option. Oda either making one of the people we've mentioned change their minds, or introducing someone completely new in the last third of One Piece that'll end up joining the crew. The first option just seems like painfully forced writing at this point, and the second option just seems unsatisfying when very good candidates have already been passed over. If you want my personal theory, I believe that there will be a montage of sorts at the end of the story in which we see brief pages showing that the Straw Hats went on a wide variety of journeys, including many of our fan favorite characters, for brief periods of time. But when it comes down to it, the official cast is going to be the same 10 people we've come to know and love currently. If you like this content, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on that notification bell. Before I go, I just want to give a quick shout out to all of the incredible patrons over at patreon.com slash kdyt. We're super active in our patron discord server, occasionally throwing some late night anime and movie watch parties. So if that's something you're interested in, pledge just a single dollar to get an invite. You could also follow us on Twitter at Kato Beyond. Links to everything will be in the description. Again, my name is Hoodie Song, this is Kato, and thank you for watching.